All right, so out here at the garden, I'm gonna do some harvesting. Uh, this is our squash arch. We got some uh, spaghetti squashes hanging down, a few acorn squashes in there. Uh, looks like some might have already hit the ground too. Uh, even see some uh, zucchinis that I were not expecting back there. So, gonna harvest those. You can see plenty of weeds this time of year. Uh, just gotta start getting everything ready to go. Uh, got some garden beds over here ready to plant my uh, garlic as well. So get that going here in the next couple of days. And then over here, got a bunch of large cucumbers. So I'm gonna be eating lots of cucumbers here in the next couple of days. Um, so yeah, so time to get busy and uh, start harvesting what there is to harvest out here. Got a nice basket full of uh, winter squashes, so we'll uh, take these inside and see what we got. All right, so we're back inside. Uh, we've got our squashes here that I just harvested. Um, this is one I harvested uh, a few weeks ago and just kept here on the counter. There's one also I just recently ate. So let's take a look in here, see what we got. So nice little squash there. That's a good size for like one person. Now these are kind of interesting. These are acorn squash. I've never harvested acorn squash quite so small as these ones. Um, so I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna use these for yet. I'll use them in some kind of a hash. Um, so we've got a couple of those, some beautiful uh, acorn squash, enough for two people there. A um, couple of these lemon cucumbers that were also out there, went ahead and grabbed those, see if they're still good, they've been out there for a little while. And then, see here, oh, another one of these small little guys. I've never grown them quite that small before. I'm um, kind of curious and see if there's any difference in the taste or anything like that. Sometimes it might be sweeter, it might be more bitter, we'll see. Um, Spaghetti squash, this one looks like it might have uh, been crossed with something else. Uh, perhaps maybe got crossed with one of our acorn squashes. Um, so we'll see, uh, give it a little bit of time, see if it turns yellow or not. And then another small, good size for just a single individual. Another larger one still working on turning yellow looks like. Um, and then you know, yep, another spaghetti squash. Looks like I'm gonna have quite a bit of spaghetti squash here soon. And then some more, uh, I guess you could say acorn squash, good size for maybe one person. Um, so definitely interesting. See the different size. I guess we could say that's normal size. Maybe this is gonna be called large. We've got medium size. And now we've got our small size. So um, definitely fall time. Uh, definitely gonna use these in some uh, great fall recipes. Um, I like taking my chili and actually using these, cutting them open, scrape the seeds out and uh, bake them for about an hour and then use the uh, acorn squash as essentially a bowl for my chili. So had chili the last couple of days, uh, today for lunch and then last night I had some elk chili I made for dinner as well. Um, almost thought about roasting one of these up last night but when it came down to it I was just too tired to go out and harvest. So. That's what we got from the uh, squash bed this year. Um, so yeah, can't complain. Uh, it would have been nice to have a few more. I'm thinking next year I might try growing some butternut squash as well. Um, so yeah, anyways, let's go back outside and uh, go harvest the cucumbers now. Tell you what, I was walking around, noticed I had some Asian pears still on the tree that didn't drop yet. So. Grabbed one of these and have a nice little healthy snack while I'm out here working. Man, these kind of taste any better right now. All right, so we're out here with the cucumbers now. Uh, probably got about a half dozen to a dozen cucumbers in here, so we'll go ahead and get started and start getting these all harvested and brought in. And I guess I'll be eating. Uh, quite a few cucumbers in the upcoming couple days. So let's get busy. All right, so harvest uh, is done. Definitely 
better than it even looked. Definitely somewhere in the range of 12 to 16 cucumbers is my guess. So gonna maybe even take a look and uh, see if we find some pickling recipes for some of these. Definitely more than I was thinking. All right, just got back inside uh, from the garden and I gotta tell you what, that was a whole lot more cucumbers than I thought. Um, I mean, these are, most of these I would say are in excellent condition. Definitely a few that uh, got a little bit on the over large side that I was not anticipating. I mean, that right there, that might have some uh, vacant uh, room inside, but that's all right. Um, they all felt really good. There was one that was definitely um, gone bad out in the garden. I just left it out there just because it was way too far gone. Didn't need it to come inside. Uh, we'll just let it go and uh, do its purpose in the composting bin. Composting bin I always use in the springtime to freshen up the gardens, get them some more uh, nutrients that they might have exhausted during the previous year. Uh, so I got two of those, usually a composting bin. Um, I'll have it out there for about two years composting before I even uh, harvest it. And then when I harvest the bin, that'll be the bin that I use for this year. So definitely a good harvest. Uh, we got a total of 15 cucumbers today from the garden. So I guess it's time to do some research on some cucumber recipes. So do me a favor, let me know in the comments uh, what you might like in the way of cucumbers and some of your recipes that you like. I'm definitely in the market for looking for fun recipes to try. Thank you very much.